mouse listeners sitting on top of our panel, but they're not doing anything yet, so let's make them do some stuff. So the mouse listeners know how to tell where the position of the mouse is, and they do that with an X and a Y coordinate. Um, so we need to be able to grab that X and Y coordinate, uh, and we're going to do that with uh, some integers. So private int draw X and private int draw Y. And we're just going to initialize those to um, draw x equals 0, which is just in the top right, draw y equals 0, uh, or top left, I'm sorry. So initially, it's just going to draw a shape up there. Um, but whenever the mouse is clicked right away, we're going to grab those things. And we do that by, you know, so there's this mouse event object that's called E that knows how to tell you certain things about like a mouse being clicked. So if we do e.getx, that'll give us the x, and we're going to store that in draw x. Draw x equals e.getx. And we're going to sort draw y equals e.get y. And then we need to uh, actually call this panel to dot repaint. And what repaint does is it uh, references the panel's paint methods. And so it tells the panel, hey, paint yourself. So the panel goes and looks at this method called paint component, because this is a, one of our paint methods, and it does it. So now we need to make this do some things. First of all, every time it repaints, we want it to draw the background color. So we're going to say g2.setColor, color.white. And then we're going to have it draw, uh, fill a rectangle, g2.fillRect, from the top left corner to the bottom right corner which is 600 and 600. And then we're then going to set it G2, the little drawing robot, to uh, set color to the color uh, that's defined currently by our um, sliders up there. And then we're going to uh, fill a shape. Uh, and we're going to, oops, not fill rect. We are going to fill a new ellipse 2d dot double which you only know about because I'm telling you about it and we're going to use draw x draw y and we're going to say the width is just 20 and the height is 20 and uh, this should be fill shape oh I'm sorry this doesn't work uh, g2 and we're going to it should just be fill and if I did everything correctly, and you can still hear me, uh, there's an error here down below. Did I forget to do the semicolon, of course? And now if we run it, it will actually allow us to click on our panel and change the location of the shape, which is pretty cool. So get your panel to this point. All right, next video.